Hi guys, it's James here from JJ Model Making. Um, something a bit different for this video. I recently purchased the Citadel Fine Detail Cutters. Um, they're quite expensive. They're about £20 here in the UK. Um, I've been using an old uh, set of Humbrol ones for quite some time, but I wanted to get something new, especially for the Ticonderoga and um, future 1 to 350 scale kits. And these are incredible. Um, I'm not a massive Games Workshop fan. I've never really sort of done any of the painting or anything or bought any of the models, but they do make some high quality items. Um, it's rumoured that the brushes use the same technology as the guys behind the Windsor and Newton brushes, so um, that tells you something. But it's a lovely presentation box and um, it looks really high tech and futuristic and um, they're really sharp. So, I'll show you what it looks like inside. Get a lovely presentation box, as I said, and they do look pretty, pretty damn slinky. Now these are horrifically sharp. I have to say, they are so sharp that I'm more worried about my daughter cutting her finger on these than um, my scalpel blade or exacto blade. Really good tension on the butt here. It's all metal, all tempered steel, I believe. Really smooth action, and it's also got this sort of like sort of overbite. So when you try to uh, go into the plastic sprue, you can feel it sort of compressing and then snip, which is good. So I'll give you a quick tour of how it works. Here's an old piece of sprue I have lying around, and you can see pretty quickly how easily these cut through. It's not much pressure, not much pressure, and snip. Not much pressure, not much pressure, and snip. Try that again. Yeah, pretty clean lines, I have to say. And compared to what I have been using, I've been previously using these little fellas. There's nothing wrong with them. They're a starter set. I've had them for, God, over 10 years. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them, but it's just not as good as the Citadel ones. You have to really push hard. And it more snaps the plastic as opposed to cuts the plastic. And you can tell just in the um, the shape of the blade possibly. It's more like a set, set of pliers as opposed to a pet of, set of clippers and highly recommended. So if you haven't got them I'd highly recommend one or you know if your ones that you use currently are on the verge of uh, snapping off. They are quite expensive as I say but I'm hoping that um, you know there's no need to buy another set of these for well at least 10 years I'm hoping so um, fingers crossed. So yes, let me know if you've got them in the comments below and um, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.